clearancing the front carrier, as you can see here. Now, in order to properly clearance it in this fashion, you're going to need to have about a quarter inch of material right here left. To help ease the installation, which took a little bit for the center lobe to come in and make it a little bit simpler for installation purposes. You can see that uh, in order, we've got a large gap here, but the reason we need to do that is so that when we're cocking the can, putting it in like that, it gains us adequate clearance in that area. Now another method you can use is, if it's easier for some of the machinists, is to actually just go ahead and bore the whole inside diameter 60 thousandths larger. And uh, by that they would go with a bore bar, you know, therefore an inch from here to here, inch in, and bore from here to here, 60 thousandths larger around the hole. That would also offer ample clearance in getting the, the cam in. As you can see, the lobe does contact the casting in this area, and therefore you won't be able to pull it out. So a 60 thousandths larger inside diameter will also act as the same uh, as clearance in the cam. That ends for our cam clearancing today.